here guys i hope that you are having a great thor's day yay 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 20 more days until the big day and then it will be the end of the year my gosh i don't know how that happened it sped away and we're 2020 and we're into a new decade is it that remarkable <laughs> i don't know where time flies to I uh, realized that I had never shown you guys my personal flow journal. This is a 4 by 6 journal. I think it does have like a 2 inch spine on it. I forget what I made, made these out of. It had to have been food packaging because it has that nice kind of pliable cover on it. But I had never flipped through here for you guys before. So I thought I would do that real quick. And then in the next video, I'm taking elements from this 4 by 6 journal and making myself a small glue book so I can use it while I am away from my studio. So let's just get cracking on this. For the closure, I sewed a button on it. I love this this blue button. It has little hearts around it. I just thought it really did fit with the color. This is one of my very favorite fabrics. It's very 60s-ish to me. When I made this journal, I did not have a lot of typical papers. So what I did was I used an old um, calendar. I think it was maybe a uh, ASPCA calendar and made pockets out of the animal pages on the calendar. Um, so that's kind of where I was with this. It's very junky because I obviously was kind of out of, you know, out of paper pads, this, this, uh, this go around when I did this. And honestly, the four by sixes really do kind of turn out a bit junky because uh, typically, I work with a 5x7 format, but when I cut pages for a 5x7, four, four I always have little bits and pieces, you know, little scraps, little small, small treasures, and that's what I usually use to make a 4x6 journal. So just thought we would flip through here so you can kind of see what I have. These journals are small. They travel well. They could honestly, you know, I could drop this. Now, I've got a big suitcase that I packed uh, to come down here. And I checked it, not at the gate, but I checked it with Delta before I did my flight. Um, I, I put it in the suitcase. But because this is a 4 by 6 it's so small that you could drop it into like a baggie and put it into uh, you know a big bag or a knapsack or backpack or whatever and kind of take it with you which is kind of a charming aspect of that 4 by 6 format I do have you know this is from a travel brochure this is Italy I'm, I remember sitting right here and looking at this fountain. Um, it's interesting to note that right up the street from that fountain, like on the other side, on the Spanish steps, is where um, um, Shelley lived, which I think is really neat. Um, Piercy Shelley, Percy Shelley, um, Mary Shelley's husband, Frankenstein. A little bit of fabric, some bookmarks, some ABCs, some sparkly art trading coin blanks, a piece of paper to write upon, National Geographic. This is a chippy kit, so I'll be able to play with some chippies while I'm here, which is nice because I pre-cut so much stuff for journals before I left Virginia, and so that's the mermaid sticker. Isn't she beautiful? That has not, I'm not having scraps, you know what I mean? I'm not having chippy bits because everything was pre-cut, and I'm just making the books while I'm here. 
I pre-cut everything and then I'm doing the construction element while I'm here. I've got lots of hairy paper clips to play with, which is cool because I don't have a lot of fabric. <laughs> I have no fabric at the at the moment. I don't. Um, I brought eleven pre-made journals, and um, four of those are already sold. So I only have seven pre-made journals uh, to construct while I'm here, which is just fun. The rest of them will be very different because I'm, I'm, only, I'm only working with what I have on hand, which is not a lot. So it'll be interesting to see how they turn out and what I use and how I use it. But that's fun, right? That's a challenge. It's an awesome challenge. All right, my friends, we are at the end of my personal 4 by 6 flow journal. I hope you enjoyed this little flip today. And stay tuned because I am, like I said, I'm making a small glue book from elements that are in my flow journal. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Thanks for having some coffee with me. See you soon. Bye.